Alrighty, coaches, we'll go ahead and get started again. I've got a lot to get through uh, tonight. But again, thank you for coming into our fourth and final coaches education session. Again, it's great to see so many coaches that have been able to make it to each session. Hopefully you continue to pick up uh, new information and new stuff for you to take away to your teams and trainings. Uh, tonight's session uh, is all about defense. We're going to break it down into one-on-one -on -one and half-court defense and build it up into trans D. Okay, once we get into trans D and we start getting into full court, you'll see how our principles about man-to-man -man defense in the full court translate between transition defense and what we would call our man-to-man -man full court defense. Okay, just from a bit of a different lens. All right. What we're trying to do today is again be able to teach how we can teach and build our defense from the very bottom all the way up to five on five play. When we teach defense though, it's important for us as coaches to make it interesting and engaging for the athletes so they remain engaged and, and active and interested in the drills. We do that by making a lot of our defensive teaching two-way teaching. So even if we're explicitly teaching defense tonight, there's always the element of offensive stuff that we can take with us and transfer that into the defensive drills as well. That's where we want to hope that the transfer from our first three coach education sessions still transfers into everything that we're doing tonight with our defense and our trans D. Hopefully we can provide you guys once again with as many drills and ideas for you to take with you to your trainings. Okay, that's what this is about for us. Um, there's a lot of discussion and talk about what's the preferred method of defense these days, whether it's pack D, whether it's pressure D. Everyone has a different answer. Everyone has the same uh, great reasons why to support their answer. The important thing for us to know is there's nothing that matters without great fundamental 1v1 defense. So no matter what defense you prefer, and I know uh, I prefer a different type than Lucas would probably say he prefer, would prefer, and that's fine. Okay, that's great because we both know that the key to both of them is 1v1 defense. Okay, so really important that no matter what kind of system you're playing, that we've got great defensive fundamentals and one-on-one -on -one defense for us to be able to succeed with whatever system that we're choosing to play. Our job is to provide the athletes with the tools to be great defensive players, no matter what system they're playing in. All right, so that's our job. That's hopefully what we can build up and give to you guys a little bit tonight. All right, the plan will start, again, from the very basics and build our way up. So we'll start from just, we'll, you'll see it in a sec, under the basket and on the no charge arc. Start from there, we'll build up from one on one to two on two, build up to four on four, and then the last 45 minutes or so, based around transition defense and getting up in, the, up in the full court. For us to be great defensively, all right, we must be able to pressure, contain, and disrupt without fouling. And that has to be the key to everything that we're trying to do defensively. In the modern game, the best defensive teams are the teams that don't foul. And we have to be able to still be able to play great pressure defense or disrupt the other team while still avoiding fouling. Okay, so that's something that we as coaches have to value and emphasize as a coach and understanding that that's our goal. Uh, then we have to be relentless coaching, not fouling. I know if anyone had the chance to see um, me coach any games in VJBL this past year, youth league games, I'm constantly trying to coach hands and feet on defense, so move your feet, get your hands out, wall up when the offensive player is shooting. Now, my, how often I said that probably stayed the same throughout the whole year. Now the girls improved, and they improved from the start of the year to the end of the year, but on my end it was still constant coaching. Okay, so that's important for us to remember. It does take a lot of work, but that's our job to help them be successful. All right, so we'll get started. Uh, boys, now get one under the basket. One person on the no charge arc, everyone else just behind the yellow line. Person under the basket will need a ball. All right, so to start out with, the number one way that we can avoid fouling is on shot attempts around the ring and around the no charge arc is walling up. So this is a technique that's vital for us to be able to play D without fouling. And our job on defense in this situation is to make the defense shoot over us, make sure that we're straight up, make sure our hands are behind our ears, and forcing contested shots, all right? So Porter, your job on defense is to force a contested shot and wall up, right? And your job is to attack the rim, all right? Porter, all you're going to do 
is drop the ball and close out. Bryson, you've got one dribble to go and score. All right, can we see a demo of that? Good, all right, not too bad. Let's line up again. Now what we're judging isn't whether the shot goes in or not. What we're judging is how well the defender walls up, forces tough shots, and contests. All right, one more time. Good, all right. Can we get that going on both sides? All right, so half and half. Rotate each time. Boys, half the boys down here. Good, here we go. Good, roll up. Good, rotate, next two up. Next two up, here we go. Good, hands up, wall up. Good, Corey. Good, wall up, wall up. Good, all right, hold there, hold there. So defensively, Portal gets you out on offense. Darcy on defense. As soon as offense has the ball, down in stance. Okay, when we wall up, we can't wall up out of our stance. Okay, offense steps through, gets around us. As we slide and wall up, stay in our stance, hands up. Again, pull your hands behind your ears, keep moving your feet. Your job is to keep your feet on either side of his, so that if he does try to step through, you're in a position to still slide and wall up again. All right, here we go. Good, hands straight up, play without fouling. Next two up, off you go, boys. Good, next two up. Good, close out, wall up. Good, next two up. Good, all right, hold there. Again, coaches, we can do this in our warm-ups. Assign a target score, play to that score. All right, make it competitive. Next one, Darcy will get you on the no charge arc. Brayton will get you just behind the net ball line. Okay, so now defense, you're just going to hand the ball to the defense, offense. Offense, again, you've got one dribble to go and score. Defense, on the catch, you're down in stance, hands ready. On the move, we slide. On the gather, hands up, wall up. Good as that. Here we go. Good, wall up. Good. Next two up, next two up. So we work it, continue to kind of progress the drill out from the basket, give offense more room to play, give defense more room to have to defend. Good, wall up, wall up. Good, Corey. If you notice the shooting percentage on shots that are contested with our hands up goes down, and this is just a one-on-one -on -one drill. Okay, so if we can have our hands up and contest, force contested shots, we live with that. Good, hands up, wall up. Good. Next two up, next two up. Wall up, move those feet. Keep moving those feet, Porter. Good, all right, boys, hold there. All right, so we see, again, contested shots, lower shooting percentage. We can see it. Good defense, slide, contest, wall up, shot goes in. We need to recognize and reward that that's good defense. A lot of times, play great D, wall up, no foul, force a tough shot. Shot goes in, we get disappointed. Think about the message that that sends the players and what we're trying to value. Okay, have to continue to trust the process over the result. Reward, walling up. Basketball is not soccer. You're not going to keep a team scoreless the entire game. So sometimes we have to live with great defense, getting beat by great offense. Porter will get your offense now at the foul line. Darcy, you're still at the no charge arc. Okay, back to a bounce pass. Offense, you now have two dribbles if you need, but don't waste a dribble. Still looking to attack the rim. Defense, close out, hand above ball, slide. Anytime offense has a shot around the no charge arc, our rules are wall up. Can we see a perfect demo of that? Here we go. Good, wall up. Good. Rotate, rotate. Next two up. Good, good wall up. Good job, good job. All 
All righty, good, hold there. I'll ask the coaches this, how can we make this drill better? And I've done a poor job of adding this. Add a box out. Let's finish every shot with a box out. So now we wall up and contest, shot goes up, turn, find a body, compete. Keep it one shot, but if you get an offensive rebound, you get to go on offense again. You get an offensive rebound, you can go straight back on offense again. Defense, you're off. New defender on. All right, let's see that. Here we go. Good, wall up. Box out, box out. Good, rotate. Good, wall up, wall up. Box out, good. Good, walling up, Porter. Good, next two up. Yeah, that's all right. Play it, play it. Good, wall up, wall up. Good, go again, Darce, go again. Good, all right, boys, hold there, hold there. Good job. All right, so again, that all is containing, walling up. Forcing tough shots, living with tough shots going in, us knowing if we're walling up, we live with that. Can I get one player on offense with their heels on the three-point line facing the coaches? We'll get you guys down here for this one. Can I get one player on defense with toes on the blue line with the basketball? All right, so now we add a level of one-on-one -on -one containment. Okay, defense will start with the ball. Defense is going to hand the ball to either side of the offensive player. Whichever side you get handed the ball, that is now your pivot foot. On your catch, you're going to pivot using that pivot foot. Can be a forward pivot, can be a reverse pivot. It's up to you. And working that footwork, those pivots, give the offense some stuff to think about as we build on defense. Okay, so Porter, hand the ball to Brayton. Pivot, scroll up, good, freeze there. Defense's job is to take away time and space of the offense. Offense's job is to create time and space. As soon as offense catches, Porter, your job is to crowd the offensive player and take away his time and space. Anytime he faces up offense, I want you to use your ball fakes, jab steps to try and create time and space. Porter's job on defense is to be down in stance. He needs to have one hand over the ball, other hand ready to play. We've gone away from having hands out like this. Well, these are targets for offense to drive into to pick up fouls. So we're one hand over ball, other hand ready to play. If Brayton switches sides of the ball, let's change hands. Down in stance, ready to go. On any jab step, defense's job is to pop back, then reestablish. He jabs, pop back, contain, reestablish, take away time and space. Offense, you've got a two dribble max to go and score. Can we see a demo of that? Good, not bad. Line up again. If offense doesn't get in the paint and we can keep them in front, force a contested mid-range shot, happy to live with that or to get in the paint. Here we go. Good, reestablish, good, good, wall up. Good, good job. And our rule again, once we get into no charge arc, shot goes up, wall up. Now what we don't want to have happen if we have Brayton back on offense, and he squares up, drives baseline, we don't want freeze there, we don't want the defender to wall up too early. As soon as you wall up too early, what's he gonna do? Go past you, step through, blocking foul, layup. So defense, you have to have great court awareness and know when you're getting close to that no charge arc to wall up. Can we get a line of boys just in front of the halfway line ready to come on? One ball per pair, we'll get through this quickly. All right, here we go. Good, take away space, good. Pop back, reestablish, wall up, wall up. Good, box out, good job, rotate. Next two up, boys, next two up. Defense with the ball. Good. Take away time and space. Take away time and space. Good. Wall up. Good. Finish with the box out. Next two up. Good. Take away space. 
All righty, hold there. Now defense, players on defense, your chance to disrupt is a fraction of a second. Right now as we hand the ball to the offense, we're standing in mud. Your job is to take away their time and space. As soon as they have the ball, we're up. They pivot, we're down, they jab, pop back, get back up, reestablish. From there, contain, shot goes up, wall up. Next two up, ready to go. Good, hands out, hands out, good, wall up, wall up. Good, hold there, perfect teaching point. We are always second off the ground on defense, meaning, Corey, you don't jump until what happens? Shot goes up, or offense leaves the ground. Offense leaves the ground, now we're up in vertical. Second off the ground on every shot. Next two up. Good, good, move your feet, wall up, wall up. Didn't wall up, easy shot. Two hands up, two hands up. Good, now we'll get you two back on the same spots. Go again. All right, this time again, want to progress in the drill. Okay, so this time, same start. Hand the ball to Darcy. Darcy, you're going to pivot. On your pivot, you're going to pass to me. Darcy, you need to sprint and touch edge of lane line. Fieldy, you need to touch outside the three-point line. Pass goes, new offensive player. Darcy, you're closing out. We're playing from there. Can we see a perfect demo of that? Good, close out, close out, move your feet, wall up. Good, next two up, next two up. Good, square up, pass, exchange, close out. Wall up, good, good job walling up, Darce, good job. Next two up. Good, pass, exchange, good, close out. Good, move your feet, wall up. Good, not bad, good walling up. Next two up. Pivot. Nah, come back. One job at a time. Pivot first, then pass. Here we go, Billy. Pivot. Good. Pass, exchange, close out. Good. And what Corey did a good job of there is on his closeout, still got one hand over ball. Take away catch and shoot three. I like this drill because it forces defense to close out on the move, which is a lot more game-like. All right, this time, can we get all the way through to the exchange and then pause there? So hand the ball, pivot, pass, exchange, close out, freeze. Okay, this time, Porter, you're going to pass the ball back to me. Offense, you're now sprinting to the corner. Defense, you're guarding him. Leading back up to the wing, catch, play. Good with that? Good, here we go. Good exchange, close out, play. Good move your feet, wall up, wall up. Good, good job, good job walling up. If we're beat, we'd rather not give away a foul. Wall up, force a tough shot. Here we go. Pivot, pass, exchange. Good, close out, Fieldy, close out. Good, bad luck, next two, next two. Pivot, pass, sprint. Move your feet, move your feet, wall up, wall up. Good, all right. Now we have to be the judge of when the players start to figure it out and when defense starts to figure it out. It's a good sign. We gotta add to it, make it a little bit more challenging. Can we get all the way through to the exchange and the pass back to me? So hand the ball off, pivot, pass, get outside the three, touch the lane line, close out, pass back, all right, now we give the option of the back cut. Let's hold the corner. Offense, you see defense reading the pass. Back cut. Layup. All right, use your reads. They play in the back cut, play the lead, play one on one out of that. Can we see that done perfectly, please? Good, pivot. Good, exchange. Good, corner. Good, play, play, play. 
Wall up, do it, next two ready to go, next two ready to go. Remember, don't wall up too early. Know where you are on the court, keep moving, then wall up. Close out. Good, play. Good, well, good job, Billy, good job, Billy, wall up, good job. Pivot, good, exchange, sprint, close out, close out. Good, good D, play, play, play. Wall up, wall up, wall up, move those feet. Good job. That's a perfect example. Porter was given the instruction probably five or six reps ago of on a step through, got to keep moving your feet. We identify when he transfers that, give him a clap. Good job, force a contested shot. All right. In our trainings, again, we want to make sure that we're working both sides of the floor. So whether they switch every time, whether we switch halfway through, is up to us. Put scoring systems. See what you want to value. Points in the paint, worth so many points. Points outside the paint. But again, the fundamental ideas of why we like those drills and why we're doing those drills is important. Everything about our defense tonight, take away time and space, contain, play D without fouling, wall up and contest. Okay, build it up to two on two now. Can I get two players in white on offense on each wing? We get two players on defense in blue on the block. All have a ball. And can we get everyone else just on the baseline in colors ready to come on? So we'll swap white and blues each time. So now two on two, what we add is an element of help D. So now we have team defense in place. Everything in our one-on-one -on -one defense remains the same. We want to play on the hop. We never want to be flat-footed on defense. This drill starts with three quick hops on the blocks. We're down, three quick hops, sprinting up to the elbow. Once we get to the elbow, we're pitter-pattering, all right? Light on our feet, pitter-patter, pitter-patter. Coaches pass to one way, close this elbow, closes out, hand above ball, ready to contain. Opposite defense, jumps to the ball. Must maintain vision of man and ball at all times. From there we play. Only rule on offense is you have to catch outside the three-point line. So receiver spots are in play, get to where the ball can see you. Drift, lift, get to where the ball can see us. Either play for a score, if we draw the help, kick it out. Can we see a demo of that? Three quick hops, up to the block, pitter-patter. Here we go. Good, close out. Good, good, finish with the box out. All right, so we will allow one repenetration off this drill. You have offense, freedom to play. If you want to catch and repenetrate, off you go, but you must score. It's a one pass drill. All right, can we see that one more time? Good, swap it over, that's all right. Here we go, three quick hops. And freeze, freeze. Good, freeze there. Ball back with Porter. Ball back here. All right. Now we want to talk about our help D. Darcy's job, again, is to see man and ball at all times. So build into our four on four. On our drive, Darcy's looking at, do I need to help or do I need to stay? We want to avoid overhelping. If we do a great job on the ball, most likely offensive player is looking to kick it out. Defensively, we have to be thinking about what's next. So if that happens and we don't need to help, Darcy's going to shorten up his closeout to his player. Ready to play. Shorter closeout, more control. Back to the wing porter. For the sake of the drill, let's say we draw a baseline and get beat. Freeze there. Our call from help is now go. Help defense either call and stay if we're in a stay, go if we're in a go. As soon as the call is go, and this is where we need communication, Brayton's job is to rotate off of that. Darcy, your job is to sprint across and meet them outside the paint, ready to play D, wall up on any shot. From there, offense is in decision making. Do I have a score? Do I have a pass? Same thing over here, one pass drill, catch and shoot, or one repenetration to go and score. All right, can we see that from the start? Ball here. Here, here we go. Good, good, one on one, one on one, wall up, wall up, wall up. 
Good, great wall up. Good job, rotate. Defense, can rotate out to offense. New defense on the block. One blue on defense. You ready to go? Good, three hops. Good, sprint. Pitter patter, pitter patter. Close out. Good. Did you close out, hand over ball? Hand above ball on every close out. Rotate. Good, three hops. Close out, hand above ball. Good, finish the box out. Good, rotate. Hand above ball, hand above ball. Good, slide, good. All right, so we put the rule in, have to catch outside the three point line. Do we need to be so uh, judgmental that we penalize that? I'm not going to. That's a great read. Two foot stop, defense thinking out, we're making basketball reads. He's not creeping in before the drill has a purpose. Let him play. All right, last one, here we go. Good, hand above ball, good, move your feet, move your feet. Good, all right. We get four blues on offense set up in shell. We get four whites, the elbow, elbow, block, and block. All right, so now we'll build it up to four on four. Again, whether your preference is pressure D, pack D, for the purpose of the drill and the demo tonight, we'll stick with our pack D, plug the floor. And either defense, the areas of responsibility remain the same. All right? So we'll demo this. We'll talk about our positions first, then we'll talk about how we can drill it. The ball's on the wing. Corey's job is to close out, hand above ball, take away time and space. Billy's job is to plug the gap. And Darcy will get you one step more towards the baseline. It's a bit of a bigger gap. Billy's positioning is halfway in between ball and man, and one giant step back and down in stance. Fingers out, pistols out, see ball and man at all times, ready to play. In times the ball's on the wing, we've got ball, plug, high, and low. You may hear this called the nail, that's fine. High position, low position, nail and low, it's up to you. Low split for now can stay split line. And you may need to adjust that depending on your personnel. If you got really active, smart defenders, low split may be able to be edge of backboard. So we slide over a bit close to our player. We're having trouble establishing our help D, split line. For now, we'll say split line. As the ball gets reversed, all four players must jump to the ball. Every pass, four players jump to the ball, get to their new spots. Billy's closing out, hand over ball, down the stands, Corey's now plugging, Darcy's plugging. We've got one player in help there. Our goal in Pack D is to have the ball handler see three defenders at all time. Defender on the ball, defender plugging one driving lane, defender plugging the other driving lane. Defense, your job is to get in and out of your gaps as quickly as possible. The ball gets reversed, close out, hand over ball, plug, help, plug. Now we want you to have an open stance. Good, so you can see ball and man. Down there, again, three defenders at all time for him. Ball gets reversed again, jump to the ball, close out. Okay, these boys have done this before, jump to the ball automatically, need to have movement on every pass. Okay, so how we drill it, ball back here. Offense, back to their original positions. I'm gonna pass the ball out there. Everyone is going to close out and sprint to your positions. Too slow to slide, has to be a turn and sprint. Ball's gonna get passed back to me. Defense, you're sprinting back to your original positions. Down in stance, again, down in stance. Same thing as Lucas said last week, uncomfortably low in our stance, and defensively we're ready to return serve. Tennis players ready to return serve, bounce on their feet. They're not flat-footed. Defensively, we're ready to return serve. We're here, we're bounced, ready to go. Gonna pass out there, close out. Plug the floor, get to your position. On this, 
Now pass to the wing. Porter, you're going to cut. Defense jumps to the ball. Offense cuts. And we replace. Now, freeze there. As we go into our and defend our rotations and their replacements, we need to remember to close out to our gap, not to our man. So as Billy's player comes high, Billy's not following him and opening up the floor. We're closing out to our help position, down in stance, he's got to see three defenders. From here now, we reverse the ball, jump to the ball, reverse it, jump to the ball, reverse it, play. Now we're four on four. Defense in place, areas of responsibility, one on one D, high, low help, ready to play. Can we see that from the start? Good, close out, good, good, sprint back, sprint back. Good, close out, jump to the ball, jump to the ball. Play, play, play. Good, not bad. Can we reset that same white still on defense, blue still on offense? Most important thing we can do once our man has passed the ball is jump to the ball. Darcy, did you jump to the ball or did you jump to your man? It's a big difference. Now he's got a driving lane, he can get on the rim. Jump to the ball, then defend the cut, then in low split. Let's try that again. Close out, hand above ball, hand above ball. Good, sprint, sprint, sprint. Good, jump to the ball, jump to the ball. Bodies, bodies, bodies. Good, play it out, play it out, play, play. Four on four, in the gaps, in the gaps. Talk, keep talking, Billy. Not bad. A knock again, sometimes people say about packed is doesn't cause turnovers. If you play it well enough and you take away offense's main options, suffocate from the paint, turnovers will happen. Swap it over, offense to defense. What we can continue to coach is turning and sprinting, communicating our positions, our closeouts, and our one-on-one -on -one D. Now again, if you are working with some of the younger age groups with this, you may not need the pass out, the pass in, the pass across, the pass down. Like you may not need that. You may just think about your positioning. We might just throw it out and reverse the ball straight away, make sure defense is jumping to the ball, getting to their new positions, and play from there. Adjust it for your age group. Here we go. Good, sprint, close out, hand above ball. Good, pass back, sprint back, sprint back. Good, close out, jump to the ball, jump to the ball. In the gap, Doris, in the gap, Darcy. Bodies, bodies, bodies. Good, play, play, play. Match up, in the gaps, in the gap, find a gap. Hand over ball, hand over ball. All right, good, freeze there, freeze there, good job. All right, what we have to continue to coach is the offense as well. As soon as we start working on defense, offense becomes allergic to the paint. I guarantee you if I told the offense that we were in four on four Spurs drill, you guys would be getting in the paint and dunking. Offense, attack the paint. Two feet in the paint. Find a way to attack the basket. If we need to add a scoring system that suits that, that's okay. Swap it over, go through one more time. Ball here. Down low, defense down low, down low, down low. Good, hand over ball, hand over ball. Good, sprint, sprint, sprint. Good, cut, cut. In a gap, in a gap, in a gap, in a gap. Freeze there, freeze. Defense, what do we work on? What's our rule for any shot inside the no charge arc? Wall up. What do we do there? We call a go when the shot went up, what do we do? 
What happened, Porter? Did you get fouled? You got fouled. All right. Well, I know as a coach, how many times do we say we're in a game playing defense, player drives, defense sticks with them, where we yell out, great job, shot goes up, hack goes down, foul. Sound familiar? Okay, so what we need to continue to do is coach the hands and get players to, again, value all the hard work that we've done. Everything that you guys did on that defensive possession was great until the foul, until we forgot to wall up. All right? So, again, that's something that we can continue to do. Don't just coach the dribbles. Coach the hands on the shot. Good with that? All right, boys, need a quick drink? You're all right. Good? Okay. The next thing we'll just go through fairly quickly is playing out of four on four out of shell drill, but knowing that we're not always going to have perfect one on one defense. One on one defense is by far the most effective form of defense. Best way to create stops, best way to force contested shots. It's not always perfect. So we do need to ha know how to rotate when things go pear shaped. Now, this form of kind of four on four and teaching shell drill perfectly structured is slowly fading out because it's more about equipping defense with the ability to make reads and make reads on the fly based on defensive concepts and ideas. But for now, we'll still teach this so we can take in what we need to, have an idea about it, and then transfer it to our group. All of these drills are really great two-way teaching for any sort of four and four play. So yes, we're pretty uh, explicitly teaching defense at the moment. But when you go four on three, Spurs drill, four on four, all the thing that we've worked on, take these defensive teaching points with you, coach both ends. So what we need now is four players out on offense, four blues out on offense. We have four whites on the baseline. Outside players with a three-point line hits the baseline. Inside players on the seam where the lane line hits. All right. So how we teach our rotations and playing out of getting beat, we can add a bit of skill work as well, add more to the drill. You say, defense, you need to pass to the person next to you with your outside hand. So you're gonna to step towards the person next to you and pass with your outside hand. All right, Darcy, pivot, pass with your outside hand. Once you make your pass, you're going to sprint and close out opposite. Fish is going to pass to Darcy. Now on this, we can't allow the defensive players to get lazy. We have to instruct the defense to close out to your position on the floor, not to your man. So Fish, if Brayton is your player and the ball is there, where's your positioning? There's Steph Curry out there. Yeah. Low split. Edge of lane line, split line, happy with that. Darcy, you're plugging the floor. Ball gets reversed. Close out, hand above ball. Reverse it, close out, hand above ball. On this reversal here, Fish must touch the sideline before coming back into the play. Freeze there, so what we want to create is an advantage situation for the offense, disadvantage situation for the defense. Our rotations from here, we always want to rotate from low help, if possible. Low help, this is our quarterback of the defense. They can see the floor, they can see all the players in front of them. Create a driving lane for you. Your job is to get two feet in the paint. Once we know that our player is beat, we're in rotations. Corey, our call when we rotate is, and that's not just to let Fish know that we've got his man. That needs to be loud enough to let these players know that they're in go as well. So as Brayton drives in, Corey's job is to meet Brayton outside the paint and contain this. Freeze there. Darcy wasn't high on the call of go. His only responsibility is to defend the corner three. So his job from high is to turn and sprint and get to low. This is now his only job. Billy's job is to defend two. So Darcy rotates low, Billy's defending two. If any pass, first pass comes out to these players, that's your responsibility. As soon as we're at a disadvantage, we're not guarding a player. We're now got an area of responsibility on the floor. Fish, your job is to pick up what's left. Pick up whatever's left over. Okay? Important to know, again, 
Rotations might be not perfect, but we can problem solve with any sort of communication and multiple efforts. Multiple efforts and communication will solve most of our problems on defense. Defense from there, I just want you to play and try and get yourselves matched up, get yourselves back to not having a disadvantage. Can we see that from the start? Here we go. Outside hands, outside hands. Good, hand above ball, hand above ball, jump to the ball, jump to the ball. Drop, hands up, hands up. Bodies, 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 good, freeze there. So we have to judge our success in a rotation of are we able to get back to being matched up four on four. If that happens, we've survived. So defense, good job. You found yourselves matched up four on four. Might have had a mismatch, that's okay. We'll live with the mismatch. We've got great team D behind them. Let's swap over offensive defense. Outside hand pass, turn and sprint, close out. Good, hand above ball, hand above ball. Two, two, Tom, two, two. All right, phrase there. Tom and Darcy, what was our mix up? How can we problem solve that? Talk, communicate. I've got, you've got. If Darcy, if you're there and you communicate, I've got ball. Tom, help. Are we going to live with that? Absolutely. Talk, communicate to problem solve. Swap it over one more time. Now before we start, this time again, we to make sure defense stays honest. So on our closeouts now, the ball gets passed in to you, Darcy. That's a poor closeout by Corey. Go play. Rip and go, one-on-one. -on -one. That happens, fall into receiver spots, and go and play. Defense, think about how that affects your help in getting to your positions. If it's not, if it's a good closeout, reverse the ball all the way, get it to Brayson on the other side. Here we go. Good, hand above ball, hand above ball. Good. Good, not bad. Swap it over. Once we have our rotation sorted, we're comfortable with that, take away the disadvantage from the defense. So now, defense here does not have to go and touch the sideline. We're playing four on four. Can we swing it around, get all the way to Corey, and then freeze there? Here we go. Good, a phrase there, good. We jumped the ball, we're in our positions here. Now again, this is where decision making on the defense comes into play. Comes all the way around to you, Corey, your job is get feet in the paint. Corey drives and does a good job of containing this. What's your communication? Stay. No matter what, low help is communicating every time. On our stay, we're not only staying with our player, what are we gonna do for our closeout? Yeah, shorten it up. So now we know Corey's options are probably to pass. Great right, one-on-one D. How many times do we see us driving baseline, jump, look for that outside hand pass? Well, smart defenders pick it off. Internationally, teams are taught to take away those passes, to take away the kickouts. If you watch any international play, you'll see teams giving up layups to take away kickouts. Now, smart offenses start setting some cutters and some screeners to free it up. But again, defense, be smart. Make decisions on defense. We don't need to help. Stay and anticipate what's next. Offense, it is live at any time. So on any catch, you can drive. If it gets all the way around, must drive, get two feet in the paint. Can we see that from the start? Finish every play with the box out. Good outside hand pass, outside hand pass. Good, close out, hand above ball, hand above ball, hand above ball, hand above ball, ball. jump to the ball. Good, see you, Tom. All right. Tom, what did you lose sight of? What did your player do? Okay. Good decision. Good read. What can we do to fix it? Yeah. Open up our stance. Pistols out. Everyone thinks pistols is for under 12s. 
When you saw the women trying, senior women, they're doing pistols every day because it works. See both, take away that cut. We're in good spots. Go one more time. Blue on defense. Good, here we go. Turn and sprint. Hand above ball. Jump to the ball. Jump to the ball. Good. See both, Tom. See both. Good. No scoring opportunity in the passing lane. Turnovers happen. If I were coaching the offense right now, I would have a chat about our footwork, about our pivoting. Now, if you get one-on-one -on -one in the key and have no kickouts, what our options are to create? It's everything that we did last week. Okay? Uh, boys, grab a very quick drink. So that kind of winds up our half-court uh, defensive work in there. Can't stress enough, everything comes down to our ability to be fundamentally sound defensively without fouling. That has to be our priority. Play great one-on-one -on -one defense, still disrupt, contest, get our hands up, force contested shots. We saw it in the very first drill. Hands up, contested shots, go in less often. They go in, we play good D, again, soccer rule, not gonna keep them scoreless. We're gonna go into now some of our trans D breakdowns, okay? So again, we'll start with one-on-one, -on -one. we'll build our way up. I like these drills because number one, they're competitive. Number two, they get the players getting up and down the court, but it also makes the players think. We can put in rules of our trans D about how many we want to crash the boards, how many we want to get back to safety, but ultimately the players still need to know what to do when that happens and how they can still survive in trans D. What we're trying to achieve in trans D every single time is to make offense take enough time for our defense to get set five on five. I believe if our defense can find a matchup and get set five on five, we're in a good position. What we have to do is to survive the disadvantage long enough for that to happen. So everything that we coach in Trans D is about can we get all of our players back and matched up, all right? Can we get uh, blues on that side? We get whites on that side. Bryce and I'll have the ball to start out with. Can we get one blue on offense here? Can we get one white on defense on this half of the floor? And we'll get one blue on that half, sorry, one white on that half of the floor. All right, actually swap it over, one blue on this side of the floor. Brayson starts with the ball. We're one on one. You're going to score, trying to score as fast as you can. Darcy, your job is to stop Brayson from scoring. Okay, go and play from there, play from there. Good, freeze, freeze. All right, once defense has the ball, defense, you're now offense. Braithen, your job is to go from offense to defense as quickly as possible. What we're trying to develop is a what's next mentality in our trans D. This is a great uh, skill and tool to use for some of the younger players that score a basket and all of a sudden become a cheerleading team. Stand and clap. Okay, this is a great uh, tool to use, get them out of them ha their, that habit, get them into what's next. As soon as defense gets the ball, you're now defense, you're now an offense. Your job is to make him take as much time in the backcourt as possible. Your job is to score quickly. Okay, so Darcy's dribbling up, playing defense there. Okay, freeze there. Once Darcy gets past half court, Brayton, you're off. Your job is now to pick up one-on-one. -on -one. And you're now playing against him one-on-one. -on -one. Brayton's off. All right, we'll get one white down in this half. You guys are playing one-on-one. -on -one. Darcy, go and try and score. Good. So from there, offensive rebounds keep playing, but as soon as defense gets it, we're in what's next. Your job is now to match up and defend him. There's no rest for the offense in Trans D. Early ball pickup, shut that down, play out of that. Can we go back to the very start and we'll play out of that? All right, here we go. Good, go score, go score. 
Good. What's next? What's next? What's next? Good. Play. Good. Good. Stay with them. Stay with them. Good. Jump up. Good. What's next, Doris? What's next? Good. Go. 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 Don't wait for them. Good. Wall up. Wall up. Good. Get there, guys. Go. Corey, push. 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 Good. Wall up. Good. Play. What's next? Play. 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 Good play. Good. Porter's ball. Porter's ball. Porter's ball. Hop up. Hop up. Hop up. Play. Good. Good. Stay with it. Stay with it. Good. All right. Freeze. Hold there. Good job. All right. Let him compete. Let him go out and play. Okay. We'll score this now. Anything inside the paint is worth three. Anything outside the paint is worth one. You get a bonus point offense if you can score in the first eight seconds. You got eight seconds from when you get the ball to go and score. If you do, you get one bonus point. All right, we'll play first team to eight. First team to eight. Good with that. Here we go. Good, play. Good, keep playing, keep playing, keep playing. Wall up, wall up, wall up. Good, Max, push, Max. Ball pick up fish. Push, eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, two, one. Good. What's next, Max? What's next? What's next? Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. All right, freeze. Hold there. Freeze. Billy, let's we'll get you back with the ball about the halfway line. Now let's think about how we can influence decisions on defense. Okay? We like to let them play at the start. Let them figure it out on their own. Trial and error. Feel that your only rules are that you have to be in this half of the court. It's been your rules the whole time. Billy, it gets you to take a couple steps forward. And who is out? Max, you're out on Billy. Come play defense on Billy. Take a couple steps back. All right. So let's think about, if we're on the ball there, what position gives you the best possible place to be able to defend Billy? Up the floor. If we're too far back, what does that give him? Head start. Defense, think about how you can use your rules to help you out. Say Billy gets pushed to the sideline. Max does a great job of pushing him to the sideline. I guarantee that Fieldy's going to have a much better job defending him starting here. So defense, think about where you can position yourself. Think about where you can play from to allow you to stop the ball. Can we go back, Billy? We'll get you at the yellow line. Max will get you in front, one-on-one -on -one D. Adjust your position fieldy and play from there. Here we go. Good, what's next? Good, fieldy's ball, Thomas ball. What's next, Billy, get there. Good, good, that's it. Good, good, six, five, four. Good, play, what's next, good, good. Good, play, play, play. What's next, what's next? Good, what's next, what's next, what's next? Good, Corey. All righty, good job, hold there, hold there. All right, so here we play it out, set a target score. Make sure we're calling out scores. But again, main thing we need from that drill is players, what's next mentality. As soon as they shoot, what's next? Early ball pickup. Can we get set up again so we get white the halfway line? Now we'll go two on two. So get an extra white out here on offense. Get one extra blue out here on defense. One blue in that half there. From here. Two on two. Okay, sorry, one white. There. We play two on two. All right, from there, again, defense, once you get the ball, you're on to offense. Defense, your job is to get ball pick up straight away, slow them down. Should have one player on the ball, one player in help. Blue, as you're bringing up the court, the player that's closest to the ball will stay in the drill and stay with the ball. 
player that's furthest away from the ball, once ball crosses halfway, you're off, you're taking his spot. Defense need to communicate ball and help, communicate to problem solve who stays and who goes. Our priority of ball pickup stays the same. Can we see that please? Here we go. Good, good, good. Turn over, Blues ball, what's next, White? Blues ball, what's next, what's next? Ball pick up. Good, good, wall up, wall up, wall up. Bodies, good, what's next, Blue? Stay with the Brayton, stay with the Brayton. Good, good. Good, freeze, hold there, hold there. Let's get the ball back to halfway with White. Corey ball over there. Brayton, your man made the pass. What does that mean you must do? Jump to the ball. So we still teach, since that ball goes, turn and sprint, jump to the ball. Yeah, it's tiring. Being great at defense is very tiring. Okay, but need to continue to reinforce those principles of jump to the ball, be in help. We should have one on the ball and one in help every time. Make the same case to the help defender here. Think about where you can position yourself when offense is coming down, to be able to slow the offense down. If we were getting pressure there, they have an easy kick out pass or outlet, gives them the head start straight away. Okay, play from there, play from there. Good, good, that's it. Good, what's next, what's next? Good, what's next, Blue, what's next? Ball pick up. Good, stay with the feeling, stay with it. All right, freeze, hold there. Max, what could you have done to help Fieldy know what you were thinking? Would that have allowed a wide open layup to the rim? Maybe. Were you in a position to stop that? Yeah. What do you need to communicate to Tom? Ball. Yep, I've got ball. Do you feel like if that was communicated, you know you can turn and sprint? Get to help, play from there. Okay, so our communication, making sure that we're communicating ball, they got mixed up on matchups there, but again, what we need to do is make sure we've stopped the ball, we've got one in help. All right, so that's how we build it up two on two. Go to three on three now. Okay, so can I get, boys, you're gonna have three teams for this. Okay, so we won't have to stress too much about colors, we'll keep our colors as we are. You three can be a team. You three can be a team, you four can be a team. Darcy will get to you with these guys, they're not a team of midgets. All right, can we get you guys one on the top, one on each wing? Seven hacky, you're on, big debut. So we'll get you at halfway. I need three whites playing defense on these boys. And I need you guys on offense on this end, point and two wings. So one at the top, two wings. You guys are facing that way. So we'll demo this. This is continuous three on three on three. I like this drill because again, it talks about and addresses, yeah, we know players need to turn and sprint. Players need to turn and sprint to get back in trans D. We want to teach them what their responsibilities are when they are turning and sprinting so that they know their area's responsibility. Biggest thing for us in Trans-D is that we sprint, point, and talk. If we sprint, point, and talk every possession on Trans-D, we're gonna end up all right. Ball gets past the Porter. So Porter drives and goes and scores. From there, defense, your job is to come up with the ball on a make or a miss. Offense, you're going back to trans D. Players on defense, you're out of the drill. Whoever gets the rebound is outletting to one of the two coaches on the sideline. Again, these can be players, they can be coaches. It's up to you. If you're really limited, just have one on one side. Darcy, your job is to make the pass. You three now need to sprint and defend them. Now, defense, you're done. Offense, you're in trans D. Your job is to turn and sprint and defend them. Coaches are getting it, passing it to any of the players 
waiting on offense. Offense, you need to defend the three players that are now on offense, you're on D. Our rules say if you're above the foul line, and again, this is our rules that I've used that have been successful. Again, each team might change it up. Our foundation says if you're above the foul line, turn and sprint back to safety. If you're below the foul line, go crash the boards. There are always exceptions. If you have a great offensive rebounder, allow them to go and play. If they're above the foul line, they're a great offensive rebounder, they go and crash the boards and that's their thing, by all means, let them go. But build it up, see what works for your teams first. For now, our rules for this will say if you're above the foul line, sprint back to safety, get yourselves a head start, see what you can do to get yourselves matched up. If you're below the foul line, crash the boards. Our transition defense starts on the rise of the shot, meaning as soon as offense is going into your shot, every other player on offense is now in trans D, whether that's crashing the boards, whether that's sprinting back. From there, fish drive in, shoot. Defense gets the rebound. Defense gets the rebound. Pass to either coach. Offense, your job is with that freeze there. Now, boys, you got to be ready to play. As soon as you're done on defense, you're now reestablishing on offense. We need a point and two wings. Pass the ball to Darcy. Play. Okay, can we see that from the very start with the original team on offense? All right, here we go. Good, play, play. Good bodies, bodies. Good play, play. Outlet, outlet, outlet. Good outlet, good. Get back, get back, get back. Bodies. Good outlet defense, outlet. Go offense, go, 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 go. All right, freeze. Hold there, Seb. Now, Porter, what did you do there that probably helped your group have great trans Z that other groups may not have been doing? And what did you communicate? Okay. We can anticipate. Great shots lead to great trans D. If your team is taking great, predictable shots, you automatically have a head start in your trans D. If your team takes bad shots, your trans D is going to be bad because we can't anticipate what's going to come next. Drive, kick out, extra pass, wide open. Yep, shot's going up. Trans D is perfect. Off balance layup against four players. Guarantee none of the offensive teammates are expecting that. Not in a position to get back. Offense, think about as your shot goes up, what you need to achieve. We're in trans D. Your job is to get yourselves back so that there's no disadvantage on the other end. Okay, so can we get defense set? Seb ready to pass the ball in, play from there. Here we go. Good turnover, Outlaw. Offense, off you go, offense, off you go. Good, good. Hand him on ball, hand him on ball. Bodies. Good, what's next, Outlaw? What's next, Doris? What's next? Good, what's next? Play it, play it, play it. Good, outlet, outlet, outlet. What's next? What's next? Find them. Good, play it, play it, play it. Good, play, play, play. Good, freeze, hold there, freeze. Get the ball back to Porter Darcy, let's get you back at the halfway. Corey, let's get you there, Brayson, and get you weak side. The ball came down this way. Okay, what's your responsibility, Corey? Stop the ball. At this moment in time, what's your responsibility? Basket's important. What are you looking at? Yeah, we're guarding two. Are you guarding any specific player? When will you 
start guarding one specific player when Darcy's back. When we're at a disadvantage, we're guarding areas of responsibility on the floor. Now, once Darcy comes back, how are we going to communicate that we're now matched up? Yeah. Darcy, high. I've got low. We go a couple more times, play from there. Play from there. Search his back, search his back. Good, out right, off you go, blue, off you go. Good, what's next, what's next, what's next? Good job, all right, freeze, hold there, hold there. Good job, boys, all right. Look, that can take a bit of time to get used to for the kids to get into the movements. But again, everything is about developing that what's next mentality. You do not have time in that drill to think about what's just happened. And that's why I really like to do it with every team that I coach in these breakdowns, because immediately just gets in the habit. As soon as you shoot it, as soon as your turn on offense is done, you're straight into what's next. Everything else is gonna be probably a little messy for a long time, that's okay. If we can get that done, the rest will figure it out. Because now when we're playing three on three, we've got our spacing, we have our receiver principles, we have our attack mentality to get two feet in the paint, we have our defensive pack D in place, we know we're hand above ball on closeouts, now we're working defense in the half court because they've been able to get themselves back to be able to be in that position. You can do that drill four on four. Have an experiment with it two on two. If you're creative, have a crack, feel free to. Four on four works the same way. We don't have the numbers. None of us will really have the numbers. You need 12 to do it, but you can transfer and apply it if you are in that situation, four on four. Good with that? All right. The last thing that we'll do tonight, we'll go straight into uh, five on five. So can we get five whites on offense here, five blues on defense here. Nah, you're done. Good job. Offense will go five out. So, Bill, you can start at the top. Defense, you're matched up. You can choose how you want to structure your offense in these situations. We'll just go five out, pass and cut. Pass, cut, replace. Dribble handoffs, all good. Second side actions, back cut handoff, that's fine as well. Our rules on this now, if you take the shot, you must touch the wall before you get back into the play. That leads to a five on four situation going back that way. Person that touches the wall, your job is to sprint back and take care of what's left. Offense, or defense, the things that we need to get done in trans D, early ball pickup. We have pickup points in our defense. On a make, our preferred pickup point is foul line or below, meaning we want to have the ball picked up by foul line or below. On a miss, our pickup point is before the halfway. If we can get it earlier than that, that's great. But by halfway, we need to have the ball picked up and contain. Closest player to the ball is responsible for ball pickup. I'm happy for that to be a mismatch. I'm happy for any player that's close to the ball on a miss to pick up the ball and slow that down. And I like that in trans Z anyone can guard anybody and your team may be different. You may have specific matchups that you need to get done. As a default rule in trans Z we're happy to have anybody guard anybody for one possession. Now on a made basket Time to find your matchup and get into our full court man-to-man. -man. On a miss, let's get ourselves back so we can get our pack D set. So on this offense, your five out, looking to score. If you shoot, must go touch the wall. If you shoot, you go touch the wall, and you see your team gets a rebound, that's okay. Get back in the play and keep playing. On any make or miss, we're treating that as a miss. So team getting out of the basket, you do not have to take it out, get it and go. We're focusing on trans D. What you need to get done is ball pick up, basket covered, ideally someone in plug, 
and someone denying the kick ahead. We won't get that straight away. What we can do is, again, think about what we need to take away defensively so we can get ourselves set. We'll play this end and that end, then we'll come back down to this end. Okay, can we see that, please? Good, talk to you, low split, low split. Hand above ball, hand above ball, wall up. Good, go touch, Pat, go touch, go touch, go touch. Ball pick up, good, talk now, talk, talk. Good, wall up, good, freeze there, freeze there, that's it, freeze. Billy, great job walling up. Don't care that that shot went in. Great job walling up, contesting. White, did we find ourselves in a position where we got ourselves matched up 5v5? That's a win. It's a win in trans D. Did we have ball picked up before the halfway line? That's a win. We'll take that. Swap it over, offense to defense back on this end. Good, here we go, plate. Hand above ball, bodies, 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 go touch, Darcy, to go touch, Darcy. Alrighty, freeze, hold there, hold there. Blue, how would we rate our ability to get back and get safeties back on the rise of the shot? Poor, not good. Was that a predictable shot? Pretty early, it's okay. But leads to trans D and poor trans D. Blue, what can we do better next time? And when are we gonna get safeties back? When is that gonna happen? Yeah, rise of the shot. Go again. Here we go. Set up. Go again. Blue on offense. Good. Here we go. Good. Play it. Touch, Tom. Touch, touch, touch. Good. Rotate. Good. Talk, talk, talk. Bodies, bodies, bodies. Good. Hold there. Not bad. Contested shot. We're matched up. We got back in trans D. And what I like that these boys are doing, turn, sprint, point, and talk. There's not two players guarding the same player. There's not two players going to the same area. We see someone there. We're being directed to what's next. Swap it over one more time. You're right, Fieldy. Here we go. Find a gap, find a gap, find a gap. Wall up, wall up. Hand him up, ball. Bodies, bodies, bodies. Good, play, play. Good, touch, Darcy, touch, touch, touch. Ball pick up, Corey, ball pick up. All right, freeze, hold there. Let's walk it back down. Good, hurry up. Okay, this time, now I want to make, we're going to get matched up in our man-to-man -man D. So on a miss, we're a trans D. On a made basket, we're matching up. If you shoot it and you make it, you do not have to touch the wall. We're matching up. To show what that looks like, we'll pass to Darce. Darce drives in, gets a layup, makes it. All right, freeze there. Blue, you're taking the ball out. On a made basket, this is where this translates to our man-to-man -man full court D. On a made basket, we're turning, finding our player, communicating, I've got, you've got. I've got ball, you've got help. Communicating that straight away. We throw the ball into Porter. Okay, our areas that we need covered in our man-to-man -man full court D. Corey, on the ball, your job is to stick it to the sideline. Okay, freeze there. Fish's responsibility is to deny the kick ahead pass. Do not want to allow the kick ahead 
Offense, we want the kick it every time. Defense, we want to take that away. So Fish, your job is up the line there. Feel you, let's say you're rim running. If that starts his matchup, he's back all the way. Max, let's say you're in lag. All right, so Pat, your job is to plug the floor. He now still has to see three defenders at all times. So you're up the line, you're now our deep plug. So now our positions are ball, plug, deny, deep, and basket. Okay, these are, if we watch some of the sessions last year when we went to our full court man-to-man -man D, it's exactly the same. Areas that we need to take care of, things we need to get done. If the ball changes sides of the floor through the pass, turn and sprint, close out, stick it to a sideline. Corey turns and sprints, gets the plug. Billy goes from deep to now up the line and deny and kick ahead. You get the easy job, you just have to take about two steps. We go from denying now to deep. Okay, we're in our positions there. Okay, so now on a make, we're getting matched up. On a miss, we're getting trans D. If you shoot and you miss, you are still touching the wall. Okay, let's see that. From the start, here we go. Good, wall up, wall up. Good, match up, white, match up, match up, match up. Please, hold there, come back. Come back, Porter. All right. Billy, what's your responsibility if your man's there and ball is here? Yeah, we got to plug. If we're in our man-to-man, -man, we're happy for them to throw it back there. What we're not happy with is hugging this player here because what does that make you want to do? This player's being hugged, gives you that lane straight away. Okay, plug, make him pass, chew up clock. Every time he dribbles, that's one second off the shot clock, that's a win for us. Let's go from the start. Five on five on offense. Good, hand the ball, hand the ball, hand the ball. Hand the ball, bodies. Good, trans C, white, trans C, trans C. White, in the gap, find the gap, find the gap. Hand above ball. Good, play, play, play. Bodies. Play it, play it, play it. Good, all right, hold there. Okay, so again, you can build that up. You might play just one end at the start. You might play an up back later on, build it up to three ends. By the time you get through it all, you can build up to five ends. Okay, but what we wanna make sure we have is transi on a miss, match up on a make, and play great half court D without fouling. Hopefully you see that transfer from the very start into what we can do there. And if we equip them with the skills to wall up and contain, then we can coach that. We can hold them accountable to that the whole way. Uh, can we give these boys a big round of applause? They did awesome tonight. A lot of those uh, trans Z drills would have been new to then, I, I imagine. And their ability to take that and still show what we we're trying to get at was really good. Thank you once again for coming to the sessions. Again, if you've got any questions, feel free to let us know. Hopefully you've now got some things that you can take with you from, uh, to your trainings, and hopefully we've been able to develop that link from the first session on skill development all the way through uh, this last session here. But thank you once again. Thank you. Cool. Good job, boys.